variable. A variable is just a fancy word to say, I have all the fish here. Let's call all the fish ends, okay? If fish is one, fish is two, fish is three, fish is four, they all have their names, right? Yeah. Okay. I want to do something with all my fish. So when they come out, one gets to be a seven, two gets to be an eight. So what am I doing with my fish? Yeah, six. I'm adding a six. Very good. So the rule here says add six, right? Yeah. Okay. So this variable is a fancy name to say, you know, instead of calling all the fish by themselves, I'm going to tell you all those fish are really called N. It's just a fancy name to say, I don't want to call all the fish in here. I'm just going to give them all of the same name as N. My N can be a one, my N can be a four. So whatever the rule says, whatever you do with the N, what are you going to do with N once you get it? Well, you're going to add it to your time, please try. Right. So I'm going to add a 6. Yeah. Okay. So when n equal to 2, what did I do with n equal to 2? Wait. I did it right. Which part? Uh, n equal to 2. Yeah. Let's pretend n. n is a fancy name. A variable is a fancy name to say all the fish in here. Instead of naming all the fish in here, I'm just going to call it n. n is a, like a space holder. I don't know what n really is, but so long n, I give n a number, okay? And then I can do something with the number. Does that make sense? Not quite? Okay, what would be then another example of a uh, variable, okay? Who are the boys in your class? Jorge. Jorge, okay. Me. Byron. Cooper. Cooper. Connor. Connor. Okay. Aiden. Aiden. Jonathan. Jonathan. Okay. You guys all have your different names, right? Yeah. Right? But your teacher, Mrs. Holliday, say, all the boys go outside now. Do you go outside? Yeah. Why? Because I'm a boy. That's right. Same thing here. All the variable that's inside at the end. Go add six, so you can get onto this side. Okay, so variable is just a fancy name, an overall name for all the things that's common in here. Okay. 